pleasure right now to uh, welcome to the program. Very talented man. He's a motivational speaker. He's an actor. And the last few months, you've probably seen his face on YouTube. He's portraying Thomas Paine, and he's getting a lot of reaction. We'll talk to him about that. And uh, Bob Basso joining us by telephone today. And Bob, uh, thanks for being with us. How are you? I'm mad as hell, and I want my country back, Doug. Eighty percent of Americans agree. I have just come back uh, from a cross-country trip of 411 speeches on a hillside along the Ohio River and outdoor ballparks for 55,000 people. That magazine said Mr. Payne has spoken in the last nine months to 1.3 million people in person. It doesn't make Mr. Payne an expert, but I've heard America, black, white, brown, and all the colors in between. And they're all saying the same thing. There's something wrong with this country. And unless the 80% in the middle who hold the real power in America wake up and get involved, we have lost this country. We can rise above politics and policies and start speaking about the principles that unite us and stop adoring at the altar of diversity. You can't unite a country around our differences. We have to unite the country around our common bond. And the majority of Americans feel that, and that's nothing I know you, you touched a nerve and, and there's so many things going on now that people are rising up, but uh, are you surprised even how much reaction you've gotten just from those YouTube videos? Well, we're uh, incredibly surprised. Uh, nine months ago, like every other American, I looked around and said, what more can I do to contribute? My non-representing representatives would answer the email, or maybe six weeks later, I get a love letter telling me how wonderful they are and what they're doing in Congress. I protested. I did all the things that other Americans have done and got no response. I looked up at a picture on my wall of me 30 years ago as Thomas Paine during the bicentennial celebration when the American Living History Theater that I put together traveled around the country and the world portraying various events in American history. And I said, that's it. What if Thomas Paine, the man who named our country the United States of America, the man who John Adams said it was the sword of Washington and the pen of Thomas Paine with common sense that finally pushed America to freedom through the revolution. I said, what if we got Thomas out of the baggage and put on the costume and went on YouTube, never thinking that a hip mod today generation is going to look at an old fart in a colonial uh, <laughs> outfit talking about principles. Most when you talk about principles, most politicians have to run to the library to look up definition. But we were astounded. We obviously hit a nerve in America, and it went very quickly now to 24 million hits, because we have already lost America. But the real miracle of the United States of America is what we have lost, we can regain. But it takes everyone in the middle who's been moaning and complaining. There's nothing I can do. It's politics as usual. You can't beat City Hall. They have to wake up and understand we are City Hall, and we're on the march. You make a good point there with the media now, and whether you're Democrat, Republican, who, who cares about that? There is a definite bias in a lot of the media, not all of it. I think what you've done on YouTube, you've cut through a lot of that, and I think that a lot of people have, have noticed that. I think that's one of the reasons you've gotten over 24 million hits. So that, that's one good thing about what you've done. The Internet has kind of opened up another voice for it for people, hasn't it? The Republicans think I'm a Democrat. The Democrats think Mr. Payne is a Republican. The Libertarian Party says we don't know what the hell he is, and that's precisely what we had aimed for. It's all about principles, not policies or politics. When we talk about the man in the Oval Office, we're not bashing the president, and we're not talking representing a party. We're observing and taking a look at what is happening in terms of our government and our people, ignoring the principles that made us the richest, most successful country in the history of the world. Our founding documents, based upon personal freedom, based upon liberty, based upon self-reliance, personal responsibility, all of which have been trashed by our government and our people. And it's our fault. For 20 years, we turned our back on our responsibility to protect this country from the enemy within. And the enemy has turned out to be our government. We can't fault government because this government does what all government does. They will grab as much power as they can in times of crisis. And never in our history, when the crisis is over, has the government turned back that power. And now they're grabbing for the ultimate power, control over every aspect of our life. And they actually have convinced a large portion of Americans that that's a good idea. Americans have forgot the basic foundation principle. 
forgot about being black and white and brown and Republican and Democrat, and we joined together and fought for common cause. We fought as Americans. If we can't match that kind of enthusiasm and devotion of our military to the principles that made us great, then I never thought I'd hear myself saying these words, that we deserve to lose this country. Wake up, America. Those of you in the middle, get off your rear ends and get involved. Well, Bob, I know you've been doing a lot of traveling around, as you mentioned. People coming up to you uh, as Thomas Paine, or what are some of the things they're saying to you in your live appearances? They thank Mr. Paine for giving voice to what they feel, but are afraid of paralyzed by political correctness. Afraid they'll be called a racist, or a bigot, or a right-wing extremist. And Mr. Paine tells them, when you're called an extremist, America, remember these words. It's not a question of whether or not we are extremists, but rather what kind of extremists we shall be. The nation and the world are in dire need of creative extremists at this moment. I didn't say that. Martin Luther King did. Compliments or the comments generally have been quite favorable and laudatory, but Mr. Payne isn't in this for getting a pat on the back. Mr. Payne is in it just to wake up America to think. We've been talking with Bob Basso, who portrays Thomas Payne, and Bob, know you're very busy, but I appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to us here in Florida, and if you make your way down here to do a public appearance, uh, please let us know about it. We'd love to have you back on again. We will certainly do that. We know that Florida is a red, white, and blue state. There are no more blue states. There are no more red states in America. So we two kinds of Americans now. Those who are going to complain and do nothing, and those who are going to get off their hindquarters and participate, and we know that Florida is a very vigorous, participatory citizenry. So I hope to be there soon. I will certainly let you know, Doug.